Hello, I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley, president of the Open to Hope Foundation, and today I'm interviewing Daniel Shemwell, a graduate student at Purdue University. Daniel, can you tell us about stigma? So stigma occurs on a continuum, really. Um, stigma can be anything from just avoidance, you know, social avoidance within a conversation. It could be um, overt rejection, shunning, people crossing the street to intentionally avoid you. There's an author um, named Becker who wrote The Denial of Death. And in his book, he talks about how even small reminders, um, minute reminders of death, can really impact people such that they would absolutely avoid or react more negatively um, to other people who remind them in sm uh, some small way of death. Yeah, and we were talking about the fact that you may want to um, educate your community if you're an educator about the stigma because people become very cruel, don't they? Yes, they can very much so become cruel, even to the point of um, depending on um, the death or depending on uh, well, a number of factors. The um, community, social support network of the griever can really react negatively to the point of uh, forcing them out of the community. Yeah, and we've certainly seen that. I sometimes feel sorry for these families of these mass killers because they have to change their name, they have to move. I mean, all sorts of things can happen to people who are even, you know, slightly related or know these people. Yes, yes. There can be a number of reactions that just really impact the processes of grief. So I think it's important, uh, the topic of st stigma is very important because I think that you can think about stigma in your own life, but also how it impacts the community. And thanks for being on this YouTube today, Daniel, and thanks for the work you're doing on stigma. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation.